I'm a film editor and I mix soundtracks. And these are crafts and arts that are usually way in the background. So it's particularly significant that the school has chosen to honor this area of filmmaking. I love the smell of napalm in the morning. It smells like victory. Looking through the catalog of Southampton Solent, I, I see many different areas, uh, animation and music and camera and film, editing, sound. And the great thing about a film school like this is that all of those disciplines are mixed up together. My personal belief is that that's the best way to do things. But the borders between all of those different crafts will eventually bleed and almost disappear so that it's, it's very important, I think, to have people come together who have interest in each of those areas so that they all can cross-fertilize with each other, and this is a very good university for doing that. Try to do as good a job as you can. I think it's primarily three things tied together, which are hard work, a certain amount of luck, and talent. But you really need at least two of those simultaneously to keep going, and you have to pray eventually that there might come a moment where you have all three together. Thirty years ago, I was in London directing Return to Oz, and Jim Henson, uh, the, the creator of the Muppets, was, uh, was in London at the time, and he said, uh, how's it going? Are you happy? And I said, no, it's going great. The crew has been fantastic. The film's going to be wonderful. That night, however, I, the question kept coming back to me, which is, what, what is the answer to that? The best I could come up with was, Jim, no, I'm not happy, but I would be absolutely miserable if somebody prevented me from doing what I'm doing right now. A couple of uh, years later, though, I ran across a uh, letter that uh, the choreographer Martha Graham had uh, written um, to Agnes DeMille, another younger choreographer. So she had been, she'd written to Martha Graham, who was her mentor, saying, woe is me and nothing is turning out the way I want it to be. What, what can you say to help? Martha uh, wrote a consoling letter and toward the end of the letter she said uh, this, there is a vitality, a life force, a quickening that is translated through you into action. And because there is only one of you in all time, this expression is unique. If you block it, it will never exist through any other medium and be lost. The world will not have it. It is not your business to determine how good it is, nor how valuable it is, nor how it compares with other expressions. It is your business to keep it yours clearly and directly, to keep the channel open. You do not even have to believe in yourself or your work. You have to keep open and aware directly to the urges that motivate you. Keep the channel open. No artist is pleased. There is no satisfaction whatever at any time. There is only a kind of queer divine dissatisfaction, a blessed unrest. So if I had known about Martha Graham's letter before Jim asked me his question, I think my answer would have been, Jim, I'm experiencing divine dissatisfaction and blessed unrest. And I think he would have known exactly what I meant. So to all of you, I wish you a life of divine dissatisfaction and blessed unrest. Thank you very much.